Back in August, I received a notification from YouTube that I need to enable two-step verification in order to continue using YouTube Studio after November 1st of 2021. So I looked into some of the options available to enable two-step verification, otherwise known as two-factor authentication, and discovered that Google is really trying to push users into using a smartphone. But what if you don't own a smartphone? Or what if you prefer not to give your cell phone number out to a large company such as Google? Or what if you just happen to live in a area where you have poor cell service like I do, and it's just not a very reliable method? So I explored some of the options provided by Google and the only non-cell phone option that I seem to have found is what Google refers to as backup codes, which are actually meant to be used in the event that you actually lose your smartphone. So I did a bunch of research and I really didn't get a, a satisfactory answer to, to this option. And I was surprised by how little coverage there seemed to have been, in particular with using uh, YouTube videos. So I thought I would go ahead and step through this process myself and see what I can learn and share my results with my viewers. So as I mentioned in my introduction, I had gotten a notice back in August that I needed to enable two-step verification in order to access YouTube Studio after November 1st. And I kind of anticipated that I would continue to receive that message anytime I got, got into YouTube Studio, which is not the case. So subsequently, what I kind of learned, but I'm not sure about, is that this was only meant to apply to channels that are monetized, which I am not. So I'm not really sure why I got that initial message, and maybe it does not apply to me. But I thought I would go ahead and, uh, and set it up anyway. So if you click on the learn more link in this particular page, and there's other ways to get to it, you get to this page to protect your account using two-step verification. Now, first of all, notice that you log into your actual Google account. You don't do this through YouTube Studio. And even with the uh, with computer highlighted down below here, you start reading through how to do all this stuff, and all everything points to using either an Android phone or an iPhone. And then they talk briefly down here about using other verification methods. The backup code thing is basically shown, right, are helpful if you lose your phone. So we go to our, our Google account and start off at the home page. And what you'll do is you'll go down here to security and as you can see on my page, right down here below, two-step verification is currently off. So if I expand, if I expand this out a little bit, it takes me down here to two-step verification. And again, you know, that just talks about what it's for and what, what purpose it serves. So let's click on get, getting started. So clearly they want you to use your phone which you're showing here. So you'll have an app and it'll, it'll actually just prompt you that, yep, this is who I am. Or if you happen to have some other devices, I have a couple of iPads that I, I could use, but I, I would prefer not to. So if we click down here on show more options, you'll see that you can also use a physical security key or you can get a text message which I assume it again is through a, you know, some type of phone, maybe a flip phone in this case, or a, or a physical phone call. But now you need you need a phone available, and I'm just doing this on a on a standard Windows PC, and I like to be self-contained. So I'm just going to continue and see what I get. Okay, now they now you have an option to actually have an, a backup phone on, on top of everything else, and you can get a. A text message or a phone call you get to select. So I'm going to skip that and go down here to where it says let's use another backup option. And here we get a list of codes that we can use to verify our account. So I'm going to go ahead and download 
these codes. Now I'll click next and see what see what I get. Okay, so it's gonna it's gonna try to give me a Google prompt, but I don't have a phone number for it to do it in. Okay, I'll stay signed in on these devices. Okay, I may be signed out on other devices. Right? To sign back in, I'll need my password and my second step. So here we go. I'm gonna turn it on. Okay, so now you can see here I have two-step verification on since October 17th. They do give me the option of turning it off, which I didn't anticipate. So the defaults are going to be these, this thing called Google Prompts, right? Just tap the notification and, and sign in, which I don't have. So if you click on this expansion arrow here, it'll actually show you which codes you generated and which ones you've already used. And then of course you can use the Google's Authenticator app, a voice or text message, or you can use you can add a security key. So that's it. In theory, I'm all set up for two-step verification using just the backup codes. If you found this information useful, please give me a like below. And let me know in the comments what I missed or what you found that may be useful to other viewers. Subscribe to my channel to follow along with me on future videos.